A uh, blessed day to you all my sports to the bone people welcome back to another video thank you all for tuning in so you know how i like to do it over here on sports to the bone after every game i like to take a listen to what the man of the match has to say and yesterday's man of the match was akil hussein and after the game he spoke he had quite a few things to say you know, he spoke about his bowling performance and he also spoke about the team in general. So I have a couple of pointers here taken from his interview that I will be giving my commentary on. Also, going to talk a little bit of CPL because <laughs> it seems as if St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, they are planning something big. Yes, I am seeing where they have a couple of players here that they have signed and i am telling you talent 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 talented players gonna share that and they have also retained evan lewis and joshua de silva and one all-rounder has been traded from one franchise over to st kitts and navy's patriots so give a listening ear until the end let me know what you all think in the comment section all right so gonna be starting off with Akil Hussein. Now, Akil Hussein picked up the best bowling figures for West, um, for, from a West Indies bowler um, in a T20 World Cup, right? Man was absolutely electric. I gave you all that figures, um, all the, the, the bowling stats in the last game, so I don't want to go in too much on that. I just want to share what Akil Hussein had to say after the game. So he was saying that, you know, um, he has been working really hard in the nets and, you know, it, it hasn't come off for him recently, right? In previous series and in the first game, it didn't really come off, but he just kept working and he knew that it would eventually pay off, right? So he was saying that in previous series, the ball was coming out of his hand well, felt as if the ball was coming out well and, you know, it felt as if everything was going right. It just wasn't getting the right reward. But according to Akil Hussein, what he said to himself was that he just needed to continue working and, you know, his time would eventually come. And it sure did come la um, last night for the West Indies team. Sure did come, right? He was saying that playing at this level, it's a lot of things that you need to do keep, to keep going, right? You need to do a lot of things because um batsmen out there they are always looking at clips they're always looking how to uh how to you know counteract what you are bringing you know so he was saying that um it's all about just working on different strategies and making sure that when you go out there you adapt to whatever is hap happening and just get the job done right so he was saying that have to just stay on top of um his game and make sure that he's staying ahead of batsmen because they are looking how to keep him out, but he's looking how to get them out. So he's just trying to make sure that he's always on top of things, right? Um, he, he also spoke about um, how, he, how is it that he's getting so much success. You know, he was saying that he just goes out there um, and he tries to react to whatever the surface is providing. So whatever the surface is asking for, that is what he's going to give and make sure that you know he's keeping the ball in the right areas um, for his team. Um, he was asked about where he would like to bowl if it's in the power play. Man was saying, listen, wherever the team needs him, he is willing to bowl there. But you know, he also spoke about the fact that he bowled all his four overs on the track. And I was saying, if you are going well, then sometimes it's good to just bowl out your entire four overs. Right. Um, if Ravman Powell hadn't bowled him out, then I, looking at the game, I would have had a problem because you know I was thinking that the momentum that he was going with, you don't want to pull him. I was saying that if he was, if he's bowling so well, bowl him out because he still had Moti and Chase at the time to come after. So you know um, that was definitely a good, a good thing there. Um, so Hussein finished off by saying that you know sometimes you are, um, sometimes you just have to have to go at it if you are going well you just got to keep going just to make sure that you keep the momentum and 
um, keep the, the thing going for the team. So that was Akil Hussein there, my people, in his post-match interview, right? As I said, I took that from uh, the interview when they were going. So all credit goes to, uh, I guess, Samuel Badger and CWI and ICC. <laughs> all right. Um, so taking this one here <clears throat> now from the ESPN Creek Info website. And here we see where they are sharing an article about St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots. Now, the CPL is coming up and St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots, um, several times people have accused them, uh, you know, we see people accusing them of being weak, but they are putting together a nice little unit here. So the headline says, St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots sign five overseas players and retain Evan Lewis along with Joshua De Silva. So I'm going to read a bit here. So it says, St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots have announced the signing of five overseas players for this year's Caribbean Premier League. Now listen to the names. They say they are Sri Lankan leg spinner Hasaranga, <laughs> Sri Lankan seam bowler Noan Tharasa, right? Very good um, bowler. Uh, reminds me of Malinga, right? He's there. South African opening batter Riley Russo, South African batter Tristan Stubbs, Zimbabwean international Sikanja Raza. Those are quality players, my people. Quality players. So it says the franchise also chose to retain Evan Lewis, Joshua De Silva, and Andre Fletcher. While Odin Smith has been transferred from Guyana to the um, from, from Guyana Amazon Warriors. So Odin Smith has been transferred. Right, they also they have a couple of other players that they have retained, you know, people like Sheffy and Rutherford. Um, Rutherford has been retained. Um, Andre Fletcher has been retained. Um, Ashmead Ned, right? And, uh, you know, Joanne Lane has been ret uh, retained. And um, who else? Yeah, those are the players there that they have retained. And as I said, Odin Smith has been transferred. And, you know, they will be able to... Um, pick up more players when they have the draw on um, the draft in July. So the draft will be in July. They are saying that the overall the 13 uh the, the the Patriots have 13 confirmed players for the 2024 season which uh with just four spots left uh to fill in the draft. So the draft will be in July and they will be able to fill those slots. All right? So the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots looking good. Um just to remind you the CPL will get underway in the end of August. So from August 28th to the 6th, the CPL will uh, will be going on, right? So that is pretty much it for this one. Continue to stay tuned to the channel. If you have not yet subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. So once we upload a video or if we're going live, you will be notified. I am gonna be. Tr I am gonna try to see if we can have a live show tonight. So just make sure that you are following the program. Big up on yourself.